Welcome to SoGoodReviews.com here on YouTube. The first question is really, who the fuck is Scud? At any rate, he, he's a huge helper being the producer, co uh, writer and co-director on Lawrence Lau's latest amateur acted affair, City Without Baseball. Amateur acted is an area Lawrence Lau has never veered away from, as movies such as Gangs, Spacked Out and latest Besieged City didn't come with any name talent. Although he secured awards for My Name is Fame, it's always clear that Lau wants to remain close to home, close to the pavement where he sees the human element, despair, etc. In City Without Baseball, he's literally enlisted the members out of Hong Kong's baseball team. And an explanation of why the end product is, product is earthly, felt, real, confusing and muddled, is that the film might have wanted to tap into the emotional stream of its subjects, because there, you'll not necessarily find streamlined thoughts and emotion, emotions, but the subject knows ex is instinctively that it's clear to them. In movies, however, it doesn't quite work that way always. The movie adheres to the sports movie formula, the teen soap opera, and all the themes that can surround all this, and I ultimately admire the approach to City Without Baseball that doesn't take an easy or straight route. We slowly unearth nugget by nugget of themes and emotions, see the documentary approach literally by director Lau and Scud as they shoot at actual baseball games and throughout we and throughout we hear the re-recordings of famous canto pop uh, music by the non-actors themselves, obviously done to heighten emotions for them. And we may encounter a team, but ultimately two characters occupy our time, the characters of Jung and Ron. Ron is an outsider in the team and occupies his time pursuing dreams. Music remains one one of those faraway dreams, uh, but baseball is equally far off. No attempt at Korea is a certainty in this Hong Kong, something that speaks to a reality by screenwriter Scott and is necessarily not cynicism. It's a good choice. But we encounter one of the problems in the film soon enough, and that is of the character speaking of the depth of the film, but an effect is rarely achieved as much as the involved wants to. Tangents go off into the aforementioned dreaming, relationships, love triangles, exploration of your sexuality, and while, for instance, the basic love triangle between Ron, Jung, and the character of Mei Chi is quite well handled, uh, criti criticism still applies. Because you must get it out there to a viewing audience as much uh, the understand uh, the intentions and uh, to the viewing audience, and as much as we know of the longing, the desire to love, the desire to win, and the desire to unite, and the unwanted hurt that somehow runs along, uh, runs alongside all of this. City Without Baseball makes it makes its points in a muddled sense that probably only is felt within the group that made it. It's conventional uh, storytelling and uh, is a plus, and there's intriguing bits about Jung meeting a suicidal teen who is also an undertaker, and it underscores the fine intentions to not adhere to a set Hong Kong cinema style. Now, Lawrence Lau hasn't necessarily bounced back since the dud besieged city. Uh, this is slightly better, but he has not still been able to fuel his amateur actors to great effect for quite some time now. But we look forward to, to the next effort he does. This movie is available now on Panorama DVD. Thank you.